Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. Blind. Now, okay, we've got to get the money up or find some dirt on somebody and... Well, I just decided, well, let's just go get the money the old natural way by doing quests. Now, since I've screwed up the still thing, there's no point in even going back to that place yet. Or, well, uh, Klamath, I think? There's no point in going back there. So let's go to... Hmm, should we go to New Reno? Let's go to New Reno. Maybe there's something down here that maybe we can do, you know? And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I am. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I know I've said that before, but you know, hey, I just gotta make sure that you guys are having fun and uh, having a blast. But oh, looky here. This isn't New Reno. Let's check it out. And you know what's funny? That every time I come through here, when it's not, I guess it's just Let's Player's luck. Okay, there was like a piano going there for a second, now there's not. You've entered a mining community of Redding. Okay, the mining community. Okay, sweet. So, okay, yesterday and, well, the previous days beforehand, I've been doing like a major overhaul of the house that I live in and all that and super crazy cleaning and all that and... You don't know how big of a pigsty you live in until you clean the place, like until you get like a decorator to come in and be like, um, your uh your house is fucking disgusting. Okay, howdy there. My name's Earl Marion. I'm the sheriff in these here parts. Sounds downright picturesque, don't it? Well, that's my job. As the sheriff, what do you do here in town? Surely he doesn't like clean up crime and stuff. Keep the peace mostly. At least that's what I'd be doing if I didn't have this leg all busted up. What happened to your leg? I was going out to meet a caravan, and it was late. So I took a nap. Next thing I knew, a damn gecko was trying to make a lunch out of my kneecap. Damn thing almost had it, too. Another good bite, and I'd be sitting down. Permanent like. <laughs> I think sometimes that I read stuff like Captain Kirk, and it just sounds stupid to me. <laughs> so your leg's still in bad shape, huh? Well, I reckon much of a dancer, I, I wasn't much of a dancer before this happened, and I reckon I won't be afterwards, neither. I can gimp around, but Doc Johnson said I better not effin, I better not effin I want to, it to heal right. Sure could use some help, though. Who's Doc Johnson? Good old painless Doc Johnson's our town doc. You have a uh, toothache or a broken bone, he'll set you right. He also sells medicine, all kinds of medicine. If you catch my, if you get my drift, for whatever ails you. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. All right, sounds like a helpful guy to have around. My my nose is really stopped up. That's part of one of the reasons why my house was kind of dirty. It was kind of dusty, and the dust was like just piling up and I'm so busy most of the time I mean I could just say screw let's plays and clean the house probably and all that but the other stuff that I do like just the work I do it just is so time consuming and I just finally decided to say hey I'm gonna get me uh, like a maid to come by every once in a while and by once in a while I mean just now and I'm then I'm going to take over the whole you know keeping the thing clean bit but it's not as nasty as it sounds. I don't know. I'll explain it later. Let's get back to the game. Uh, for whatever else he has, sounds like a helpful guy to have around. The doc's office is at the west end of downtown here. He's just about always happy to see new patients. I see him. Hmm. See, let me ask you something else. You need some help, Sheriff? The job may be a bit too tough for you. Come back when I, you've got a bit more experience under your belt. Okay, Sheriff. Well, poopy skins. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, uh, alright, so we've met the sheriff. He doesn't really have a whole lot to say yet, but let's see if we can ransack his place. Yeah, that's what I like to do, ransack places. I do like the song, or the, sound, or the music in this area. Okay, so what I was saying before is that my house was dirty. Yes, so we got that out of the way. Oh my goodness, take it all. All of it. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. 
This is amazing. Why doesn't he care that I'm stealing his stuff? Alrighty then. I'm gonna go in this door too. I'm gonna clean this place out. I don't give a shit. I'm the sheriff now, bitch. Look at that. Look at all this stuff, man. Oh my god. Is this a going against me? On the thingamabobber? No, not you. I just love the music in this place. It's so awesome. Grave digger. What? They're dead. They don't care has become your motto. Digging up the remains of others is more than a hobby for you. <laughs> no kidding, right? Like neutral. Uh, Reading, I'm still neutral. Yay! Okay, I'm a grave digger. Well, you know what? That suits me just fine. Because I did it in real life, I might as well. Well, does it still work? Let's hit the old science key and science around on it. Which I doubt. Well, I guess it would be kind of sciencey <clears throat> to fix a mechanical object. That piano, man, it's, it's just like a Wild West town. It's so awesome. Whoa! Oh my god, is that a... What a mingo. Uh, let's, let's get the hell out of here. Those things don't look like they're going to talk first and ask you how big your butt is afterwards. All right, let's go. Did that thing just take a dookie? Yeah, it probably did. It took a big old poopy. A big old poopy. New kids running around with their arms in the air, flailing about. That's freaking hilarious. Okay, so there's a lot to do in this town. Oh my god. You know what? I want to check something. Is there an autosave? Yeah, there is. Let's try that. F6. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. Over up. Um, that's not exactly an auto save or a quick save. So, okay. Every time I press F6, it's gonna. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. I had to choose. I had to choose the place where it's gonna auto save. Let's talk to this kid. Hello, I'm Melchior Jr. Uh, uh, okay. Are you from Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger, I mean? Howdy, my name's. Athabasca Dick. I'm just going to call him Dick. Okay, yeah, mostly people just call him Dick. Of course, there's some that just calls me Athabasca. Mostly they just call me Dick, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call you Dick. Hey, Dick. What's going on around the town lately? Hear any interesting rumors? Dick, what do you do here? I work a spell now and then here at the Morningstar. I work a spell now and then here at the Morningstar. What the fuck kind of language is that, sir? They can always be, use experienced help. Uh, let me ask you something else then. Hey there, what can old Dick do for you? Listen here, old Dick. Hey Dick, what's going on in town lately? Same old thing mostly. All of us miners working just to just enough to get our next flight on jet. Hmm. Okay, I would ask what jet is. I, you know what? I'll do that. Jet is a little something from New Reno. I just take enough to smooth out the rough edges. <laughs> yeah, right. You're a smart user, as they would say in like a. A rehab clinic or something. I watch a lot of TV. Alright, anyways. Uh, hear any interesting rumors? Well, not much lately, except that them gold dang Wanamingos. Wanamongos? What the heck is that? You're telling me you ain't never heard of a, wa a Wanamingo? Wanamingos? Um, well, sure, the Wanamingos. Let me ask you something. No, never heard of anything like that. Tell me about them. Well, some say they were here before the A-bombs, H-bombs, and all that, all what else hit. Others say they were geneti genetically <laughs> engineered as weapons. I hate it when people do stuff like this. And then there's some what says that they're a whole different planet, uh, from a whole different planet. Now, like, okay, listen. I get that it's an accent thing and that they're trying to make a redneck out of this guy. I am a redneck. That doesn't bother me. Not that part. It's just, it's hard to read this shit. You get it? It's really hard to read the shit. Gene Eti Kali. What the fuck? I don't know what that is when I first look at that. I guess it, it makes more sense if you're reading it by yourself and you're not having to do it on a Let's Play. But on a Let's Play, it's a pain in the ass, I guess. It's fine, you know, whatever. What are they? Who cares where they come from? Just tell me what they are. Well, I don't roughly know what they are exactly. 
but I can tell you this. See, that's bullshit. Stop that. They just they shut down the Wanamingo mine just west of town a few years back. Hmm. Wanamingo mine. Yep, that's the great Wanamingo was the richest strike here in these parts, too. But now nobody would go near it. Heck, you could find a, you could even buy it from a Scorty if you wanted to, but nobody will. I could buy it. Is it worth anything? Well, not right now. It ain't. Haven't you heard anything I said? It's filled with them damn Wanamingos. But if and someone was to clean the place out, well, that'd be a Brahmin of a different color. <laughs> Heck, you wouldn't even have to kill all of them. What do you mean? Well, there's some stuff in there that the owners of Morningstar and the Cocoa Weef Mines here in town would sure pay a pretty penny for. What kind of stuff? Well, you see, mines used to be dug out of the big machines. By big machines. Heck, these machines are built to last. Both mines got bit big diggers. But, and here's the money question. The dang little control chips were made so tough Neither mine's got a chip that works. <laughs> Not sure I understand what you're getting at here. Well, what I'm saying is that either mine owner would pay one of those... Would pay for one of these digger control chips. Heck, if they had a working machine and the other mine didn't, they'd shut the other mine down or buy them out in no time. Too bad nobody knows where to get one of those chips then. Squeegee at the dang ear... At your, what? Squeegee out your dang ears... I told you where to look for the damn chip. Ain't you been listening to a word I said? The Wanamingo mine had machines, but they were working till the time they shut the mine down. Probably still chips down there. Just waiting for somebody to come take them along. Take them, take them, take them, bake them. All right, let's see here. Maybe I should. Maybe so. Okay. Heard any interesting rumors? I oh, much except them gall dang Wanamingos. Okay, let me ask you something else. What it? What's at the basket mean? Athabasca? Athabasca. That's not so dang hard to say, is it? Yeah, it is. It's pretty, it's pretty stupid. Uh, Criminy, what's, it's just my nickname. Do you really want to know how I got my nickname? <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess it's just gonna be a douche. That's all I need to know. Alright, goodbye. Alright, so Athabasca there. He's a cool guy. Sort of. He talks. His, his, his dialogue was written by a racist. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Just joking. It wasn't written by a racist. Shucks. Let me tell you, they, they really wanted to capture the spirit of the redneck, didn't they? All right, let's see here. Looks like we got another. First time in Redden, huh? I don't want to play blackjack or whatever it is. No best today, thanks. Because you know what? They don't have the glitch in this game. That glitch was some bullshit in the other game. But you know what? Who cares? Hmm. Hello there. Welcome to the fine city of Reading. And welcome to my casino. Everything's on ace here at ace Escorties. I'm Escorty, proprietor and mayor of this fine town. Any work here to do in Reading? Well, there's the sheriff and then the mine owners are looking for someone to retrieve some sort of part for their machines. What about the sheriff? I understand that Sheriff Earl Marion is looking for someone to fill in for him and the bug leg heals up for a fetch. You might go talk to him. His office is just south here across the street. Thanks for the tip, but before I go... Hey, that was weird. Before I go, though, let me ask you about something else. Well, actually, what about the mine owners? I don't know too much about it. You should go talk to either Dangerous Dan McGrew at the Morning Star Mine or to Marge LaBarge at the Coco Weef Mine. They're both just north of the downtown area here across from the graveyard. Oh, well, I better go check that graveyard out, you know, because uh, I might want to be a grave digger. All right. Hmm. Have you heard of anything called a Garden of Eden Creation Kit? Garden of Eden Creation Kit? I think they made Vault City out of one of those. All the vaults were supposed to have one, but there sure ain't one around here nowheres. Well, hmm. Ask you something else, Mayor. Yeah, he's the mayor. It's crazy. What's been going on around here in, my, in town lately? Lately, a gold shipment has started to slow down because the miners are spending too much time flying high on jet. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. What do you do here? 
I run this here casino and I help run things in town too. I keep track of things like deeds and such. Deeds? Deeds to what? All kinds of private property. Why, right now I have a Jim Dandy of a deed for sale. Hmm. What's that? It's the deed to the great Wanamingo mine just outside of town. I can tell it. I can sell it to you for just only 1000 to Special offer. Just your luck to hit me on a generous day like this. What's the catch, Mayor? No catch, no catch at all. You just have to evict some of the squatters that have taken up residence there. No hardship at all for a rugged customer like yourself. I can tell you more if you'd like. Okay, I'll buy it. Tell me more. Well, there's some dang critters in there that need to be killed before anyone will work the mine. If and you were to buy the deed and then kill off the critters in it, infesting it, I'd be happy to buy the deed back off of you for a nice profit. Hmm. Profit. Hmm. Heck, more than double. I figure that's the least that can be time. Uh, heck, more than double. I figure that's the least you, that your time's worth to you. I couldn't afford to pay any more than that. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done to put back into the mine before I can start to turn a profit in it. <sighs> All right. I don't know what to do. Should we go for it? Should we go for it? I mean, of course, I'm going to have to sell a bunch of shit to get the money, but... Okay. He's checking me out. Welcome to the Scorties. Keep things nice and frosty. All righty then, I shall. I shall frost it. Let me go frost my hair like a backstreet boy. Ooh. Okay, that... Bad joke. Bad joke. Okay. Look at all that Brahmin shit. Oh, wait a second. Where's that graveyard? Didn't they say they had a graveyard or something? Yeah, we get it, Piano Man. You're good. Now shut up. Right, let's go in here to Malamute Saloon. This place is awesome. Let's get us a quick little save, yeah. Herb. Hello, stranger. Ordering a beer. He's ordering a beer. Hello, sister. Looking for work. Work? What kind of work? You know, backflopping work. Even the way you look, you could make some money. These miners ain't too particular, you know. God, I must be ugly as fuck. You think so? Hmm, maybe I should. Well, it sure helps if your nose ain't too keen. These miners aren't too fond of soap and water. What? Really, maybe this isn't for me after all things. I don't know if you if you uh, you can stand it, but then I guess you don't stand. That is. <laughs> All right, never mind. I don't want to. I don't want to become a prostitutional, a prostitutional engorgonator. I don't know. Hello there, I'm Lou, owner of the Malamute Saloon, finest house north of San Fran. Hello, Lou. I'm interested in, in getting something here. Have you heard of something called a Garden of Eden creation kit? Can't say that I've heard of one of them before, but what is it? Well, it's a device used to. Uh, hmm. It's just something that I'm looking for. Tell me something else. Okay. Hello, Luke. What's going on in this town? Well, mostly we mine gold ore here and trade it to other areas. You mine gold ore here? Yep. Just north, just in the north part of town alone, there are two working gold mines. Hmm. Said you had to trade the ore. Well, we trade gold ore to Vault City in return for medical supplies. We trade ore in the new California Republic in return. Oh, shit. The NCR. In return for fresh Brahmin and other vir vir uh, victual uh, vic victuals? What the fuck? And we trade gold to New Reno for drugs and booze. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Hello, Lou. What's going on? In well, I've done this to man. What's a Malamute? Just a big dog. Oh, I see. Hmm. Let's see. Where's San Fran from here? San Francisco is still quite a ways from here, south from here. You're a long ways from getting there. South and just a tick to the west. It's right next to the ocean, don't you know? Uh, here, I'll mark it on your map. Don't know why any sane person would want to go there for, though. Okay, thanks for the information there, sir. Now we know where San Francisco is. Let's rob him blind.
Yeah. Let's get in here and get all this stuff. Because we're going to need it to get Vic out. Unless we do the Malamute thing. Ooh. Scout handbook. Nice. We need all the scout handbooks. All of them. Give me your scout handbooks. Don't you laugh at me! Okay. Uh, nothing in here. You bastards. Put stuff in your shelves or I'll be coming for you. Ooh. Oh. Oh, what was that sound? Wait, we can get through here. Let's just open this old door ski. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody wants to be a dinosaur. He's got metal doors in here. Holy shit. He didn't lock them, though. Dumbass. What is this? Rot gut. Hmm. A very strong liquor. Cleaning fluid. You decide. Tell you something, kids. If you ever decide to get drunk, get hammered off your ass the first time. That'll teach you a lesson. Yeah. Because you know what? You'll wake up and you'll be so sick to your stomach, you won't ever want to look at alcohol again. 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 Rank. Again. Rank. Again. Okay. Sorry, my disc was skipping there for a second. <laughs> I'm so funny. Bad joke. So basically, you just go in here and grab everything you want. Which, I don't really want rocks. I want that graveyard, though. That sounds kind of handy. Okay, so let's get out of here. Actually, let's go ahead and see if we can... Take this crap. Man, that quick save is really nice. Hello? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Fine. Screw you, people. Okay, so basically, let's let's just keep checking out the town, I guess. I mean, it's a new place, right? I could have swear I saw that Brahmin just taking a piss or something. Rat clean real good, Doctor. You worthless lump of flesh. Uh, Rat, try real hard to help. I don't know why I put up with your incompetence. Okay. Okay, hello there. I'm Painless Doc Johnson. What can I do for you? Hmm. Hey, Doc, I just had some questions for you. What would you like to know? I'm just wondering about what's going on here in town. Lately, it seems as though the miners are spending their time flying high on jet in the, in the mining. Well, flying on jet than mining. If this keeps up, Redding's gold production will have to come to a halt. No, New Reno doesn't seem to mine, though. What does New Reno have to do with it? New Reno sells jet pretty cheap. Jet's real habit forming. Like, nothing you've ever seen before. They figure that if they get enough people in the area using it, those people will do anything to get more. That gives them the de facto control of the area, like Redding. Hmm, so if you don't want New Reno to control Redding, just who do you think is in charge here? Well, everyone wants a part of the gold here in Redding, so we're going to be controlled by someone eventually. I just want it to I want us to have the master that's going to do the best job for Redding. And who do you think that is? The way I see it, Redding's best chance is the Vault City controlling things here. Things where I'm from, so I can't I might be biased, but I really do think that Vault City can do a better job of helping the citizens than Redding. Why is that? Because they handle Vault City in just in a just and humane manner. Uh, they would do the same for Reading, I'm sure of it. I see, Doctor. That makes a certain kind of sense. They'll realize the benefits soon enough. I'm certain that everyone they'll welcome Vault City's administration with open arms. Uh, eventually. Hmm. I see. Well, let me ask you something about. Uh, let me ask you about something else. All right. What now? Hmm. Let's see. Did we already? Yeah. 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 Let me ask you something else. Okay. What do they, why do they call you painless, Doc Johnson? It's because my patients usually pass out before they get to screaming too much. It's kind of a joke. What? I see. Well, that's uh, comforting, I guess. Uh, let me ask you something else then. I think I need to be going. Uh, just remembered an important appointment that I have uh, somewhere else. Nah, I'm just, what now? I'm just wondering what kind of 
Uh, I'm just wondering about what's going on here in town. Uh, got any medical supplies I could trade for? Yeah, let's do this. I might be able to provide you with some medical supplies. Let's see. What have you got to trade? Okay, Doc. Let's look at your goods. Let's look at your goods, Mister. Okay. Hmm. I want to get rid of these. Screw that shit. That shit sucks. We got us a hunting rifle, though, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. A Jan you wine hunting rifle. Let's get rid of this damn beer. God. 115. Not bad. 125. He doesn't have that much. Hmm. Right, let's take that back. Let's see. What would sell for 100? Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of these? Hmm, yeah. Damn it! That'll work. Give me all your money, Sonny. Except for three coins of it. Yeah, alright, now let's see. We're cooking with Jet now. We're cooking with Jet now. Okay. Alright, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. Let's talk to the other guy in the room. Alright, sure did, Doc. Alright, now you. I hear I works here for the doctor. Well, at least you got somebody working for me. Right, now let's get us a new save because, well, you know. We don't want to get caught with our pants down, do we? Yes, no. No, yes. Maybe. Let's take his medical supplies. Doctor's bag. Okie dokie. Alright, so we need to sell some more stuff. Let's sell some more stuff. We're gonna rob him blind though. No problem. We're gonna rob him blind. Let's go check out this place. Maybe I'll do some buying and selling off screen. You know, that's probably the best way to do things. Alright, who is this? I'm Madame Majeska. What do you wish of me? What do you do here, Madame Majeska? Lately, I don't do much at all. I used to run part of Lou's operation in the Malamute Saloon, but we had a falling out, so I quit. Let me ask you something else then. Uh, looks as though a lot of people here are chem users. What's going on in town lately? Most of the rabble are just working to get to, uh, working to get enough jet. They need something to take their minds off this place. Okay, let me ask you something else. Heard any interesting rumors? All I hear about are politics. They always seem to be the big stir in discussion. Politics? What do you mean? Have you ever seen a greased Brahmin contest? Uh, nope, never heard of anything like that. Tell me about them. Well, they do. Uh, what they do is grease up a, a Brahmin calf, and then eventually everyone in the crowd tries to catch the calf. If you can't catch it yourself, you make damn sure nobody else can either. <laughs> I don't see what that has to do with politics. In this game, Redding is the greased Brahmin, and a golden one at that. New Reno and the California, the New California Republic. I'm just gonna say NCR, I guess. And Vault City are trying to catch us, or at least keep the others from catching us. Hmm. What do you mean? Here in Reading, we mine gold. Then we ship it out to New Reno, the NCR, and Vault City in return for goods. Each of these places would like to have the gold and the trade all to themselves. Why don't they just attack you and take it then? We're big enough and far enough away to make a takeover expensive as well as dangerous. Much more efficient to have us join willingly. What do you mean? The three powers are trying to get Reading to choose which side to ally themselves with. They've all got powerful allies in town, and it looks like they, things are coming to a head. Soon, Redding's going to have to make a choice. A choice. To grease, The grease on the Brahmin calf is getting a bit thin. Soon, one of the powers is going to have to make a major play to take Redding before the others do. When that happens, people are going to get hurt. A lot of people. Hmm. Why are people going to get hurt? People are going to get hurt because this kind of change doesn't come easy. Those who think they're not going to get the prize get it in their mind to not let anyone else anyone else get it either. The only way to avoid that is if we decide to go with one of the powers and make a quick alliance before the others catch on. <clears throat> what do you think will happen? I think that the folks here will follow Mayor Escorty's lead. He's a crook, but people trust that. He's going to go, uh, he's, he'll go with whoever's strongest. 
You see, whatever's good for Escorty is also going to be good for Redding. I think he just hasn't figured out who's closest to being on top yet. But he's going to choose soon. Okay. Why do they call you Madame Majeska? I used to work in the Malamute Saloon as part of that job. People used to call me Madame. The name just stuck. Even though I didn't work there anymore. <laughs> Where do you work now? Lately, I don't do much at all. I used to run part of Lou's operation at the Malamute, but uh, we had a falling out, so I quit. Okay, I understand. Well, that's good to know. See you later. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Alright, we got another place here to check out. Yeah, I'm going to do the uh, the buying and selling of stuff off screen, guys, so you don't have to put up with that crap today, or hopefully any time in the future. The thin woman who has seen better times. Hello there, young lady. What can old widow Rooney do for you? Oh, nothing really. I was just looking around. Goodbye. Okay. All right. Well, thank God that didn't last long. <laughs> I was like, shut up, people. God. So much talking. There's a lot of writing in this game. This man looks as though he lives here. Been in raining long. Are you from far away? Shit yeah, kid. You don't want to be here. More places to loot. That's all I see. Just more places to loot. And then we got this north area up here. Let's go look at that real fast. Come on. Move it. I hate that I can't, like, move, uh, like, from far away. Like, when you click on f far away places to go to takes forever I mean you have to like get a little closer to the character and click on it just to get them to move like from here to there but if you try to do it from like up here they won't do it for some reason see I just click there and it won't do it anyways that's gonna be all for this episode I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of let's play Fallout 2 blind I'm spectral star after the video, there's going to be some annotations that you can click on to go to other playlists and other work that I do. And I hope you guys stick around for the next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ow. Bye. Oh. Small pathetic cube, why do you pursue me? Surely you understand my power. And you do this for your king? One who might use you as a footstool or to prop.